take my bag. Got my gate belt, which is what I use to help walk patients to keep them safe. Here, I got my blood pressure, my stethoscope, alcohol wipes, and my iPad. Alrighty. Walking down the hall to the elevator. So not all my patients live in senior complexes. Some of them live in private homes. Actually, the, mo the majority of them do live in private homes. Several of my new friends on YouTube have asked, what do I do all day long? Well, I'll be catching an elevator here. No, I don't ride in the elevator all day long. Just a way to get up to the second floor so I can see my next patient. Hopefully this video will kind of explain kind of what I do. Hopefully it doesn't make things more confusing for you. Right, heading out from another patient's house. They live at a assisted living facility. So sometimes I come to assisted living facilities to see patients there. And the stuff we work with patients on, physical therapists, some patients have difficulty getting in and out of bed, so we teach them how to do that, the mechanics of that. We show them exercises to help with strengthening of their legs, also work on core strengthening. Sometimes a person's trunk control might be a little poor. So those, those are some of the things that we kind of work on as physical therapists. Just a lot of exercises and functional mobility. All right. Heading out to go see my next patient here. Just left one in this little neighborhood here. Private neighborhood. A nice quaint little neighborhood here, so yeah. I love what I do. And sometimes this happens. So you show up at a facility and you find out that the patient has left either with their family member or had to go to a doctor's appointment and they forgot to tell you. So we're headed back across the street over here. That was the like the memory care area. We're gonna go back over to the lodge, show you what the lodge looks like. And as we go over, we'll talk a little bit more about physical therapy. All right. So just like how I am walking to the other facility, some of my patients do not have the luxury of walking at this moment. They were several months ago, but you know, sometimes due to a surgery or having a stroke where it evolves one side of your body, it's hard for them to walk. So we help patients regain their mobility. Physical therapists, we work mainly with their legs and occupational therapists work more with the upper body. Look at that beautiful statue of some quells at Quell Park. So while, as we're going out, I'm gonna answer a question. A couple other questions were brought up. What, do, what, what does a physical therapist do, home health? So I actually go to a patient's houses and I work with patients. A lot of the ones I see is like, let's say patients after getting home from the hospital, whether they had a surgery, or a stroke patient, someone who had a stroke, pneumonia. Typical surgeries we see, we see patients after um, hip surgery, knee surgery, shoulder surgery, sometimes after a car accident. So pretty much any reason a person finds themselves in the hospital, if a person can't go home safely and manage by themselves, then often a doctor will order a physical therapist. So that's kind of what I do. I go to patients' houses. Yes, I drive to their house and see them at their house. So on a regular day-to-day -day basis, I typically see somewhere between five to six, maybe seven patients. Full-time status as a home health physical therapist is five patients a day. So I try to hit that mark of five, five to seven patients a day. 
All right, well, hopefully that answers your questions as far as what do I do as a home health physical therapist. Um, if it doesn't, please leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to either make another video or just answer the question in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And like always, aloha for now. All right, just finished with my patient. Let me take you over to my office. Oops, this is not the office, but yeah. Alrighty, welcome back. So this is my office. I'm actually sitting in my car, backing out. Yep, this is where I make my phone calls, call in doctor's orders, order equipment. This little table here, I often sit here at Quill Park to do some of my paperwork or just some miscellaneous things. And as I sit here, I have this little friend here who likes to always sing and chatter away. I haven't thought of a name for the little bird yet, but if you have any ideas what you call this bird, please let me know. Okay, pulling up to see a couple patients here. This is Quail Park. Uh, it's a place about uh, two miles from my house. Fortunately, I have several patients here. Actually, on Mondays, I actually see, uh, it could be five to seven patients here. So all my patients on Monday can be here sometimes. Um, but, so I know sometimes um, I might be on the L, the live streams for Lolo Tate Vlog, DJ B Dewata Reacts, Trending, Dre, uh, Trending Jade, uh, and Rhett Gaming. Rhett Gaming, the husband of Trending Jade. Uh, often I will write, I'm headed to my next patient or, you know, something along those lines. And then I'll type that and they read it. And then, yeah, so that's kind of spiked up some questions from some of you wonderful fellow YouTubers who ask me, what kind of work do you do? Yes, and I am a home health physical therapist. So I had the opportunity to go and see patients at their homes. So I'm here at Quail Park. Just gonna kind of show you a little bit. Here are the parking lot. There's actually two facilities here. There's the main one that I will be headed in right now to go see a patient. And then there's a uh, memory care. So patients that have just a little bit more difficulty as far as their memory and that kind of thing. And like I said, I'm a physical therapist. So I will share another clip that kind of explains a little bit what I do as a physical therapist. Because right now, I have a five minute window to go and see my patients. Alrighty, talk to you all soon. Thank you, bye bye. All right. Met a lot of wonderful friends over the past month on YouTube. And a lot of us take time to watch each other's videos or listen to each other's music. No one listens to my music because I don't sing. But of recent, I've been enjoying listening to the Miranda Sisters, Anna's Life Adventures, and Hindi Aku Artista. Take four on this. Hopefully I'll get it right this time. All right. So I saw seven patients today. Today was one of those days where all seven patients were at seven different locations, whether it be a private home or a assisted living facility. I actually went to three different assisted living facilities today and went to four private homes. Some days, I on Mondays, I come here to Quill Park and I'm here seeing six or seven patients. It makes it very, very nice because I don't have to travel on that day. Anyhow, hopefully I answered your questions. Um, Several of you have asked uh, through comments via YouTube, what do I do? And kind of questioned why I respond the way I do sometimes when I'm in some of the uh, live streams. It was a lot of fun putting this video together. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. And as you often see, aloha and support from California. Tamsak, friend, blessing and strength. Thank you for watching. Aloha.